Hey guys, back again with another video. Uh, first, I just want to say thanks for clicking on this video and taking a quick look at this. A uh, question that I get asked pretty often is, you know, what's some good ideas for some uh, gifts for family members, you know, husband, wife, and hunters specifically, people as far as friends and family, and also people here on the on the channel. Um, I do get some questions on what to give, you know, for um, holidays, birthdays, Christmas, uh, Father's Day, things like that. So I want to take just a little bit of time, go through some things that um, I use kind of on a regular basis. So I'll try to make this real easy on everybody that's watching. Uh, everything that's on here, I'll just put a direct link down below um, in the description section. That way you can just click on it, take you right to the product. You can check it out and choose if you want to buy it or not. Um, all this stuff here is pretty reasonably priced. I think the most expensive thing here is probably the range finder and the set of binoculars. So uh, first thing, I'll kind of go through these first four up here. Um, even if the person that you're you know, looking to buy a gift for is not a hunter, I think these three or four things right up here, everybody you know, can benefit from getting one of these. But the first thing is just a, a standard Leatherman multi-tool. Uh, this one is the Wingman, but I'll put a link to the most recent one down below. Um, usually they make improvements, so whatever you know the most recent one is on Amazon, that's typically the best one that's out at the time. So I'll put a direct link to that below. Uh, but most people are pretty familiar with Leatherman. You've got your standard set of pliers typically when you open it. It's got everything from screwdrivers inside of it to knives to files, all kinds of different stuff, and just pretty handy in a tight little little package that's easy to, to carry around. So that's item number one. Uh, number two would be just a good flashlight. Um, most people have, you know, just a typical flashlight, but, but this here is made by a company called Olight. Uh, they make a very, very good product. It's nice to have a good flashlight, and this one's got a lot of different options. Uh, I'm not gonna go through everything. This, I don't want this to be a super long video. You know, you can read on each product. Um, once you click on it, that's down in the description below. This light just has a lot of different features on it as far as different intensity settings, um, timer, things like that. So take a look at Olight. And then another flashlight, which is easy to kind of carry in your pocket, everyday carry is what they call it, is made by a company called Streamlight. This one is called the MicroStream. Just real little, real simple. Uh, to carry around real discreet, put that in your front pocket and real easy to have with you at all times. And then moving along here to the next item is uh, a headlamp. This is made by a company called Black Diamond. And just a standard headlamp, you would put this on your head. And then the nice thing about this one is it does rotate up and down. And then it's got a bunch of different settings, uh, white, green, and then, yeah, so it has the white, the green, and it also switches to a red. A uh, bunch of different settings, intensity settings, but this is very handy, not only in the woods, but just everyday use, you know, working on cars, hands-free. Um, walking down to get the mail late at night, just whatever it might be. So I'm not only going to put the direct link to these items down below, but I'm also going to include a few other things that I think highly of, but I just don't want to, you know, flood this video and make this a real long video. So uh, we'll move along here to the next item is just a good uh, hunting beanie, or some people call it a toboggan, but this one's actually called a, a beanie made by the company called Sitka. This is the Sitka Stratus beanie. It's a uh, not a real heavy beanie, but it does have wind stopper on it. It's just a, a real high quality material and it has that gore wind stopper in it. So it keeps your head really warm while not, you know, being big and bulky. And then the next item is for hunting uh, specifically. So this here is called a Primos trigger stick. What this is, is you would put this straight on the ground like this and then your rifle would set right here in this V, and then you can just squeeze this trigger right here and raise it up and down. So your rifle, you know, wherever you're setting at, you can get your rifle right in line with your eyesight with just one squeeze of this trigger. 
I use this a lot on coyote hunts and uh, beaver hunting as well. And then moving along to the rangefinder. This is made by a company called Vortex. This is the Vortex Ranger 1000. And what this is, is whenever you're bow hunting, you know, you can just pick out a target so you can get familiar with, you know, certain trees that are, that you're hunting around. So whenever a deer comes out, you already know what kind of ranges that that deer might be in. Or if the deer itself comes out, you know, you can pick it up in time, click the button, and it will give you the exact yardage, wherever that tree's standing, wherever that deer's standing, whatever it might be. Uh, moving along here next is a good quality set of binoculars. Not only are these great for um, hunting, but you know, vacations in the mountains, uh, whatever it might be, just you know, checking out stuff outside out your back window. There really is a big difference between a good quality set of binoculars as far as the glass, the clarity in them, um, between, between a set like Vortex right here and just something that you can get you know, cheaply at Walmart. Um, for a long time, whenever I was younger growing up, I just used something cheap at Walmart. Um, but you really appreciate spending just a little bit more getting a good quality set of Vortex uh, binoculars. This is the Vortex diamond back set. And then the last thing I just threw in one piece of hunting uh, clothing, camouflage. And I say hunting, but this comes in solid colors as well. And this is great for hunting, but it also is um, a very nice garment for just everyday use. Uh, the nice thing about this is it has these uh, built-in hand muffs. So right here, this will be kind of hard to show, but you would just take this, your arm would be sticking out here with your fingers, and then this flap right here, you just pull it straight over the top of your fingers. And then it's a little pouch. So it's a little mitten, a little muff for your fingers. And then it's, this is called the Sitka Fanatic Hoodie. Um, it has this built-in piece right here, which you pull this over the top of your head and this would be a face mask. So your face would actually be right here and then your hood would already be up. And then you just zip it up all the way. But this is the Sitka Fanatic Hoodie. And this is great for hunting, everyday outdoor use, fishing, uh, just whatever you might be doing out, outdoors that you need a little extra warmth. And also this is a very good layering piece. So if it's super cold outside, it's good to have this on uh, underneath a big heavy jacket because it's nice to have that built-in hood plus the face mask and the mittens. So I didn't want this video to be super long. Just wanted to go over a few items that I use quite a bit that I personally have. If you have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I'd be more than happy to try to help you out with any of these products, as well as anything else that you're thinking about purchasing. So just comment down below. I try to get to those questions pretty quickly. And uh, make sure and subscribe if you don't mind, like this video, and stay tuned for more. I appreciate it. Thanks guys. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you. Bye.